today's episode, I'll be talking about dual-purpose guns that can take down bears and burglars alike. These kinds of guns would interest those who are more budget-orientated and want a versatile firearm. And I'm happy to tell you that there are plenty of guns out there that fit the bill. Many of us know that the world is not a safe place, and self-defense is always one of our biggest concerns. Many experienced shooters may roll their eyes when some people suddenly realize that having a gun for personal protection is not a bad idea. But instead of laughing at them, it is better to give them direction and reliable information. A lot of people who own guns are either shooters or hunters, or both. You may be a shooter who doesn't care too much about hunting, so your choice for firearms would be those with certain tactical features, suitable for self-defense. For those who enjoy hunting, you may gravitate toward purpose-built guns. I can say that a lot of people fall into the hunting and general use group. A lot of us don't have a lot of money to spend on high-end guns, with all those bells and whistles. And we certainly don't want enough guns to form our own militia. I, for one, just want a gun I can rely on whenever I take it for hunting or when I hear someone breaking into my home. Now, I understand that people have unique needs. It would be short-sighted to recommend only one gun that would be suitable for every situation because it does not exist. With this in mind, I will cover eight guns in this episode. I'm sure that at least one of these will suit your needs. The Winchester SXP. The Winchester SXP is a 12-gauge pump-action shotgun that is affordable, modular, and reliable. It is a no-nonsense workhorse with a very fast cycling pump gun. Thanks to a bit of backward pressure on the front end, heavy loads feel like they eject themselves, and you can follow up with additional shots in quick succession. There are many variants of the SXP out there. To be frank, any of them works so long as they are SXP. You can get slug barrels, self-defense style barrels, or wing shooting barrels. You can also mount an optic as well as on the receiver is a tap to mount a Picatinny rail. Overall, the SXP is a reliable shotgun to have at your side. The AR-15 Carbine and 5.56. I understand that this recommendation is rather vague. This is because there are countless amazing options out there today. My personal favorite is the TX-15. And you can take a look and decide whether you want it based on its features. Again, I don't want you to focus on only one gun from a specific manufacturer. Instead, I want you to look at the features that the gun offers. The AR-15 is intended to be a tactical rifle. Still, it is just as effective as a hunting rifle. Your standard AR-15 carbine should come with a flat top receiver for optics and a collapsible stock. From there, you want one with high quality barrel and a float too. You can get some other accessories if you want. The M-Lock handguns are smooth and low profile, but give you a lot of options. Ideally, you want one with a true 16 inch barrel so you don't have to deal with a pinned flash suppressor and can mount a sound suppressor if you want. Overall, AR-15 carbines are reliable and straightforward. You can take down deer and coyotes without an issue. So, of course, they can bring down a bad guy as well. Henry X Model One thing about the Henry X Model that may turn a lot of people away is that it is a lever-action rifle. It's not a gun for everyone as lever-action rifles are the firearms of a bygone era. However, in the hands of a trained shooter, you can put more lead down the range than you think. The Henry X Model is effective as a self-defense and hunting rifle. It is a rifle that uses an old action but with modern features, such as synthetic furniture, a short Picatinny weaver rail, and a threaded muzzle. You also get the all-black aesthetic for the extra tactical value as well. You can add on muzzle brakes, suppressor, or even a light. One problem with rifles is that they are rather long, making them difficult to handle in tight spaces. The Henry X model has a small form factor, so it does not have that problem. It goes in a variety of calibers as well. If you want to take down bears or bandits, you can get the 4570. If you want to go out for hunting deer, you can also take the 357 or 44 as well. It's not as small as a pistol, but it hits a lot harder, and you don't have to compensate for the recoil. In short, the Henry X model is an excellent option for hunting self-defense gun. The Browning Bar DBM The Browning Bar DBM is based on the bar designed by John Browning. It chambers the 308 cartridge, which gives it enough power to take down a bear already. Moreover, it comes with a 19-inch barrel, synthetic furniture, a detachable box magazine, and a rail for optic mounting. All these tactical features allow the Browning Bar DBM to double as a self-defense gun as well. Ruger Scout Rifle To be frank, bolt-action rifles aren't anyone's first choice when it comes to self-defense firearms. However, among all of the bolt actions out there, the Ruger Scout is the go-to as an all-arounder hunting, survival, and self-defense firearm. For one, it has a small form factor with its barrel either 18 or 16 inches long. 
It is also handy as its controlled feed action is very reliable. The detachable box magazine allows for greater capacity and faster reloading. Other than that, it comes with stout iron peep and blade sights and a rail for mounting optics. You also have an option for choosing the caliber as well. If you don't like the 308 for some reason, other variants use the 450 Bushmaster and 350 Legend. All these are valuable tactical features that allow the Scout to be effective as a self-defense gun. Savage MSR-10 Hunter I can say that the Savage MSR-10 Hunter is the AR-15's big brother. It uses the 308 cartridges, although it is offered in 338 Federal and 6.5 Creedmoor. Normally, do chamber a large cartridge. You would need a bigger and longer receiver as well. However, the Savage managed to keep the receiver as short as that on the AR-15 while still using the larger magazine and cartridge. Your options for bales are either 18 or 16 inches, depending on what caliber you use. It comes with a collapsible stock, a full-length top rail, and adjustable gas system. It is an excellent option for those who want the versatility of the AR-15, but need a larger caliber. Even if you go for the one that chambers the 6.5 Creedmoor, it still uses the standard 308 AR magazines, which are widely available. Glock G40 10mm You might think that a pistol wouldn't make for a good hunting gun, but hear me out. Thanks to the resurgence of popularity of the 10mm cartridge, it has proven itself to be an effective cartridge for home defense and hunting alike. Of course, you can't expect to shoot a handgun and produce rifle results. Still, it is by no means a weak gun. It delivers a respectable performance without breaking your wrists like many Magnum handguns. There are many other handgun options out there, but I recommend the G40 for its reliability, capacity, and modularity. None of the handguns so far impressed me as much as the G40 did. To make it simple, the G40 is a G20 except with a longer barrel. That extra length will give you more velocity and accuracy over a long distance, not to mention absorbing some of that recoil. Any shop worth buying from can put together a G40 to accept a red dot sight if they don't have one on the shelf already. Overall, the G40 is a handgun that is intended for concealed carry, but it can work as a hunting gun if used properly. The Ruger 57 5.7 by 28mm The Ruger 57 can be used for small game and self-defense. It is a bit on the lighter side, but it packs a lot more punch than many 22 long rifle handguns, not to mention that the 5.7 ballistic performance is similar to the 22. With this, you have a handgun that can take down a medium-sized critter with certainty and one that works well as a self-defense gun. Other than that, I recommend this gun because it has a high mag capacity, 20 plus 1, which is always handy when you can't afford to take your time aiming. Plus, the Ruger 57 doesn't have that much recoil, which is a welcoming feature for more sensitive shooters. Not to mention that you can put down more follow-up shots accurately. And there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.